Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the DNS server is not responding on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And it says that your computer appears to be correctly configured, but the device or resource DNS server is not responding. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter to run this command. It should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Close out of here and then restart your device. And now hopefully your issue should have been resolved. We can do one step further and also reset our network settings back to default if you're still having a problem. So you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once we're done with what we're about to do, you will need to enter those back in when our computer restarts again. So just make sure you have them nearby again if you're still having a problem. And let's proceed on with the next option here. And we're going to open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, or come back with settings, open that up. On the left side, select Network and Internet. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath Advanced Network Settings and go ahead and left click on that. And then underneath More Settings, you want to select Network Reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. So this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. Now you want to go ahead and close out of everything and actually restart your computer. And now you should be good to go. If you're using an Ethernet connection, you should be able to just go right back online. And if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you will need to enter those credentials back in like I mentioned earlier. And you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward process. Do a positive will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.